song, I, I'm just reminded of how incredible you are. We all know you're a great singer, we all know you're a great performer, but every one of your songs is so dang hard to sing. So with apologies to you and to Tony Brown, um, there's a million lyrics in Fancy, but here we go, let's see what happens. <laughs> Turn me 
Yes, we were hard pressed. Well, mama spent every last penny she had to buy me a dance. song, but she ended up recording this song. I said, Tony, I, I, uh, 
I think I'm going to put it on this next record, which did nothing, of course. And uh, it, it was it was this song, Tony. And he calls me back about 30 minutes later after I've sent it to him on the MP3. Thank God for technology. And uh, they called back and go, we're going to cut this song. Well, it was not the song you were asking for, was it? Tony Brown. <laughs> what it is. Yeah. Uh, anyway, she cut it and made it a single and, and titled it the, the CD after that, right? Yeah. So I'm going to sing it for the first time, and it's going to be a little pitchy, but just hang with me. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's what my mama always said. Faith is to believe in something more than what you know. That's what the good book says. You gotta play the cards you gotta know. That's what made us home. At times you gotta go without knowing what you know. That's why I keep on. laser bright stars shoot across the sky on not so distant lines roars and pierce the silence of an African night like Hemingway huh? we dined at the feet of Michelangelo's statue of David in Florence Italy we sung country songs together on more than one occasion in Andrea Bocelli's backyard she can outshoot most men that I know she has a Polish alter ego her name is Fifi <laughs> she knows no fear, and if she does, you're not going to know it. I've never uh, seen her admit that she's down, ever. She's a self-proclaimed whiskey girl. But I've seen her come across the table on her hands and knees in a restaurant after more than just a few shots of tequila. <laughs> I can go on all night, but I'll stop right here uh, before this hole that I'm digging gets too much deeper. 
I want to introduce you to her, but we got a special supply. A little surprise, he just walked in a few minutes ago. I'm going to bring him up here. Come here. Race car driver. Her baby boy, Shelby. Good evening. Just a fair warning, I'll probably mess this up at some point and get my tongue all tied and, and whatnot, but... Um, Hi, surprise. Uh, I guess this is a good definition of why I didn't answer the phone call earlier today. I didn't really, I knew who was on the other end of the phone call. I didn't know what personality was going to be there. I'll admit. It could have been the either catch up, hey, how are you, mom? Or the very interrogative, pushy, like, hey, what are you up to? Why? What are you doing? What for? When? Why? And I probably would have screwed this up anyways. But I'm here. I made it. And uh, the main reason I'm here tonight is uh, to honor a woman who has a very big description of leadership. And she's fierce, she's feisty, she's driven, and she has an incredible worth ec worth work ethic. See? Told you. Just play along like it was planned. She's instilled this work ethic into me, into my racing career, and into my own, uh, basically, own career, pretty much. And it's no wonder that the leadership music was here to honor her with the uh, Dale Franklin Award. So with no further ado, I'd like to present my mom, Ruby McIntyre, with the Dale Franklin Award. Appreciate it. Ronnie, thank you for the very sweet words. And Shelby, thank you for flying in from God knows where you were yesterday or today. But I appreciate you being here. To my friends and my family, Sean and Jason, thank you all very much for coming in. And to all my family uh, that I get to work with, my starstruck bunch, thank you. Record label people, thank you all very much. To everybody in the industry, I've been in this business now 40 years this month. 1975, October, 40 years ago is when we started. And there's so many people to thank that have paved the way for me. It, leadership, that's um, a great organization to have going, this, this mission that you're on to share, to educate, to, and you've done that for me. You know, you say, what do you do in the business? Well, you do sing, you entertain, that's your number one job. It's always so very important to leave something as you go. And I've always thought it was a really good idea to teach by example, and they said that's what this is. This reward is all about, by teaching by example. Grandma did that. Grandma would take me to the pond dam and teach me about Jesus. She didn't preach, she didn't make me go to church with her. Uh, but I learned about Jesus. Mama was the same way. Mama didn't threaten you to, if you didn't clean your room. Uh, she led by example, cleaned up her room, and then she'd say, won't you go in there and clean your room? I knew that meant get your butt in there and clean your room. <laughs> I tried that one more one time on my bus driver, Larry Jones. I said, do you want to go in there and do this? And he said, no. I said, okay, you didn't understand me. Mama says this and it works real well. Why didn't it work with you? But I've had a great time in the music business. I appreciate y'all very much uh, letting me be here tonight and accept it. And I'll accept this award with total gratitude. Uh, there are so many people I, I would love to thank, but I'm about to die to use the bathroom right now so bad. So I don't <laughs> go into all, everybody. But for Ronnie to come out and sing that song, which I love that song so much and you sang it so well. Uh, for Martina and Hillary to sing, Does He Love You? Uh, that's so funny that Hillary and I have got to sing it together. I uh, sang it first with her mom, and then Martina came out. And then for Trisha to come out and do Fancy, she knows how hard that song is to sing and how many words. But I went the other day and sang for her 
that that song had a lot of words too, so it's kind of a payback time. But this has been a wonderful night, Steve. I've loved hearing all about your life, Joe. I have loved you forever. You have been such a huge inspiration to me and a friend to me forever. I'll never ever forget all the kind, sweet words, how much you helped me early on in my career. All of you, thank y'all very much for letting me be a part of this wonderful night. Uh, I know I've forgotten something, but as I said, my back teeth are floating right now and I got to go to the bathroom. I do appreciate it, but I did, I have to tell you, I did draw up several times in a knot, when, especially when Jerry House was talking and Scott Borchetta, I didn't know what they was gonna say. And Ronnie, yes, I do like my brown liquor. I do like that very much, and I have a great time. I love life, and I'm going to continue loving life. And if y'all will let me, I hope music is a part of it. Thank y'all very much.